Guys, today we built an all-time Indianapolis Colts squad. And listen, outside of the fact that they're using Jalen Ramsey's card art for every single card for some reason in this main screen, this might be one of the worst themed teams we have built. Yeah. So, you start off, and I want to start this off right away by showing this because this is the best part of the theme team. You got Anthony Walker Jr., 91 overall. You got uh, Biscuit Boy here, 91 overall. The Captain, 89. Stefan Gilmore, 89. And Camardi, 89. And those are the best cards. This team is fully maxed out. I The only cards I don't have on this team team are going to be cards that really just I can't get on the auction house right now. And these are just backups. Like currently we're 47 out of 50 because these gold cards are not posted. So there's a center backup and there's a right guard backup. But this is the maxed out offense. Now you can max out Frank Gore with the tokens. As always, I'm still not going to take the time to do that because he's an 89. He's an 88. So in reality, I could just put Frank Gore over here and just max him out and have an 89, 88 running back. But it doesn't really matter because look at the offensive line, man. Look at this offensive line. It is pretty garbage. There is a gold left tackle, gold right guard, and gold right tackle. And listen, I know in real life the Colts offensive line is not the greatest, okay? But... EA, you're supposed to give us, you know, some, like, a uh, a way to get away from football, you know, in Madden, right? A way to get away from real life and ultimate team. We're building the best ultimate team we want. Like, it's a, fa it's a fantasy team. Why is the fantasy worse than real life? <laughs> Why is the fantasy team worse than real life? And I'm not even a Colts fan. I'm a Bengals fan. But still, I feel like, in reality, the... That shouldn't be a thing. But yeah, nonetheless though, we do have the captain, which I have not used his card in a hot minute. So I'm actually happy that we did an all-time cold squad because I can actually start using his card again. Which is nice. And by, for, again, I mean not for this squad right here, I'm going to add him to the God Squad. Because now we have the all-time all cold squad, excuse me, theme team one here. Um, the receiving core is pretty mid. Uh, Josh Downs does lead off the charge at 85 speed here. Once I get this maxed out, he does get 86 speed. Can you imagine? 286 86 speed receivers. Like, Quentin Nelson needs to be traded. <laughs> Ryan Kelly and Quentin Nelson both need to be traded to somebody else. Now let's talk about the defense. Because the only players I'm missing on defense is a second mill linebacker named Bobby. And I can't get him because he's not on the auction house. Other than that, there's a 76 overall um, strong safety Scott, Daniel Scott. So I have a 72 overall version. 76 is not on the auction house, but once I can get him, I'll upgrade him to that. Other than that, this team is complete maxed out. Like, it's ugly. It's, it's, it's very, very ugly. They have some a lot of bright spots, right? And by the way, uh, Julius Brents has a rookie premiere card. I don't have that card anymore. Um, and then there is a Tony Brown card, which is not here, but he's also 73 overall, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, so like I said before, this this squad, man, it's it's ugly. It's definitely ugly. Now the good thing is we should be receiving newer cards for this pro, uh, for this team sometime soon. Marvin Harrison is a card we will always get when it comes to Legends, right? Dallas Clark, Peyton Manning. Um, we might get another John Unitas card this year. These are all players that they could add to this offense that makes this offense even better. And I just want to see real fast. I'm probably going to miss some players, so let me all-time Colts. Let me see what, what players could they add to this squad. So, players they could add would be um, Anthony Kinsanzo, Kenza Kenza I think his name is. Uh, left tackle, so eventually maybe we'll get a legend version of him. Um, Eric Fisher, right tackle. Okay. I don't know if Mark Glokinski. I don't think he's going to get a card anytime soon. Um... 
yeah, like I said before, you could go Dallas Clark at tight end. Johnny Unitas, obviously, Ed Jaron James. Um, he could get a card sometime. T.Y. Hilton, maybe Reggie Wayne. Again, so there are some bright sides to players that we could get. Obviously, Bob Sanders at strong safety. Ronnie, uh, well, you know, Amani Hooker we already have. And he's, yeah. Um, Xavier Rhodes, I don't really think. Rockinson, no. Jerry Hughes. Listen, okay. Let me see if there's another one that's better. Um, Andre Risen. Okay. Yeah. It, it might be a bad year for the Colts. You might want to... I mean, eventually they might give you Dwight Franey and you could put there. Uh, Ted Hendricks. Um, LaJuan Landry. Like, is there anything positive here, guys? Dwight Franey. Dwight Franey's pretty good. DeForest Buckner. Okay. So maybe eventually EA Sports gives us some pretty good cards for this Colt squad. Um, maybe crazier things happen. I mean, like, hang on. Let me pull this up for you guys. Because, like, again, it's it's not it's not doom and gloom for the future, man. Hang on, let me see. There could always be these players. Maybe. Um, the problem is a lot of these players from the past, like when you do all-time theme teams in the past, you look at them and you're like, oh yeah, that guy could get a card. That would be awesome. But then you realize, wait, that guy only got a card because that year he was doing good and now he sucks and he's not actually that good. Justin Houston could get another card. It's always possible, but he hasn't retired yet, so he's not going to get a legend card. So he would have to get a promo card of some kind. And I don't know if he would get a promo card. Um, but yeah, no, like other than that, Eric Dickerson. Okay. I mean, I guess that could be something. Johnny Unites, Matt Ryan. I mean, again, these are all cards where it's like Matt Ryan. I feel like if he gets a card, it would be during a Super Bowl promo because he's not a legend. So he's not going to a legends card. So probably like a Super Bowl promo type of card. But yeah, again, if you Dallas Clark, John Mackey, you know, there's some solid players that are probably going to be coming out sometime later in the year. Uh, but hopefully, 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 see this a million times, you know, you just don't run the squad. That's pretty much it. Like, just don't rock the all-time cold squad, and you'll probably be a lot happier in life. And you'll learn, like, wow, life could be really good as long as I don't rock an all-time Indianapolis cold squad. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.